You're fat, you'll never have a boyfriend and nobody will want you. That's what I used to say to myself. Meet Essie, the girl who used to look in the mirror and call herself fat. The girl who used to believe she could achieve nothing unless she was thin. The girl who was diagnosed with bulimia nervosa at just 12 years old. The first time I noticed that I had a different body from everyone else was when I was like getting changed for swimming and things. Everyone else was light and blonde and thin and I was dark and hairy and curvy <laughs> at a very young age. That was very noticeable to me how different I was. But it didn't become a real problem until I was 12, 13 and I was over exercising and over overeating. I would exercise in my room by myself until really late at night and then I would just make sure I wasn't eating anything, make sure that I could burn off anything that I was eating. It was quite like obsessive. Today, Essie is very different to the girl she tells me about from her past. She realised that she didn't want to spend the rest of her life hating her body and decided to love it instead. You can't spend the rest of your life being unhappy with yourself and being scared of food all of the time because you're just going to be unhappy forever and you're not ever going to enjoy anything. With a large following on social media, Essie's story has touched many and now modelling part-time, numerous people are inspired daily by her natural, untouched look. People seem to like what I post and especially coming from the perspective of having had an eating disorder, I think people really took well to that because they could see an end point. I went out to eat about four times last week. I wouldn't have done that because I would have been too scared about how many calories I was eating. I wouldn't have actually had those memories with my friends. We were all taking pictures. One of my friends was like, oh no, I look really bad in that picture. I was like, please let me keep it. I don't have any memories of, of when I had a really bad eating disorder. I didn't have any pictures because I didn't want any pictures. It's like I didn't exist. I think that's what I'm reminded of every day when I can just go out and try all these different things. And now I can actually go and exercise because I actually eat. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you're eating. <laughs> I know. I mean, everyone just try it. It's really great. <laughs>